Hello subscribers and non-subscribers and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Victoria 2. So in this part we will be potentially ending this war, it, or this great war, it depends on uh, how long it takes. Go and get my timer started for half an hour. There we go. Um, I did do a test run to sort of figure out what I'm likely going to go and take. So my plan is going to be to liberate Ireland because we probably will have another great war that will involve Britain in some capacity. Um, we'll take our two territories off of Russia. Uh, we will force the Ottomans to give Greece the rest of their cores back. That will result in Greece still not having um, Crete. But uh, you know what? I don't really give a crap about that, to be completely honest. Um, and that'll probably be it. Just as a result of the infamy we'll have. Uh, we might have a minor skirmish with Italy. Um, because I did end up with them declaring war on two Sicilies, if memory serves me correctly. Or two Sicilies declared war on them. One of the two declared war on the other. And I had to go in and help. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how this all ends up working out, of course. I'm going to march you there so you get a nice, fairly straight border. Um, I'm going to have you go there. Now, go take care of those Russians and then go back. Um, you go take care of those Russians. We're going to keep these um, 240 men, or 240,000 men rather, um, sitting here on the French border. Because maybe France will declare war on me in this run, rather than uh, what happened in my test run where they just kind of sat on the sidelines and said, we don't really give a crap about how this war goes. Even though, you know, it involved Russia, their only real ally that they have left. <laughs> but apparently they didn't give a crap about that in the slightest. So, yeah, that's a thing. A bunch of Jakobin rebels. This is a bunch of stuff for anti-military. Um, I did say we keep them there, but I kind of lied. Because the Jakobin rebels just rose up. So we're going to go ahead and send two of them off to go and take care of the Russians. Or the rebels, rather. I want you to just take care of the Russians here, and then I'm going to send you to go and also help deal with the um, rebels. You're going to help take care of the rebels, too. I'm actually going to send you through Moldavia. Go and support that army. I mean, we should win that, but it's taken longer than I would like. So I'm going to send you over there to go and help deal with that. I'm going to bring you up here. Actually, no, I'm going to... You know what? No, you go up north. I'm going to put two people in these two Russian territories so that they can't... They can't keep sneaking troops through Moldavia. Okay, conservatives one. Luxembourg fears my might as they should. This guys going to Frankfurt. I don't know where the hell these. You know what? You go take care of those rebels real quick and then turn back around. I'll have somebody else deal with this Spanish army that's deciding to march all the way through. Um our territory. Also, let's go ahead and ship these, uh, the Austrian Imperial Navy up into the channel. If I'm going to liberate I eh, not Italy, Ireland, I was, I don't know what the hell was about to happen there. I was about to combine like Italy and Ireland into one country. Um, but let's send that other navy up there to help Damn Russians sneaking troops through. It's actually very annoying that they keep sneaking troops through Moldavia. Luckily, because they're allowed to sneak troops through Moldavia, I'm allowed to go and send my troops into Moldavia and tell them to piss off. 
wonderful we won that but I'm gonna actually tell you to go to <clears throat> Rotterdam because I need you to heal up because some of those ships are pretty heavily damaged and dreadnoughts take forever to, re to rebuild rather so I would love to not have to rebuild a dreadnought if I can avoid it um, let's go ahead and slap uh, the Ottomans with the give up Greece because we haven't done that right no we haven't wonderful just wanted to double check that so give Greece their crap back Luckily, the uh, Belgians are kind of helping us. Oh, I'm not allowed in Luxembourg. God damn, that battle is still going there. Oh, and I accidentally clicked away that battle, so I wasn't able to see the results. Oh well. Actually, you go there. You... I'm gonna send you into Moldavia. Um, I don't really give a crap about Moldavia, so I'm just gonna let you guys go and do your thing. There's two Sicilies asking me for help for... Did they start it? No figured as much. It's Italy starting it. Of course, I'm a little busy right now, but I think I can make room for helping two Sicilies. This will involve me needing to take my troops off of the French border, because I can't exactly keep them there. Um, yeah. The UK has a massive army in Italy, or not Italy, god damn it, why do I keep saying Italy? Ireland, uh, that I'm going to have to take care of. I'm not going to sail all the way over there to do anything, so no thanks game. Where's the Austrian Imperial Navy? Jesus, it's taking them forever to get over here. I fully expected them to not take nearly that long. Uh, we will... Because I don't want to take anything from Italy, maybe I'll just let the Italian War go and let uh, two Sicilies potentially decide to take stuff. Uh, I've got bigger things for you to take care of, though, now. The other armies can deal with the rebels. So we've sort of made a nice straight line. The Russians shouldn't be able to sneak troops into our territory anymore. March there, take care of them. You know, it actually probably is in our best interest to uh, destroy Italy, actually, in this war. Or at least break them up. Yeah. We're going to go and occupy all of Italy and just kind of hope two Sicilies get smart and decides to break up Italy. Oh, that's a big army that I kind of want to... It's a big Spanish army I want to deal with, but I can't exactly deal with it right now. Uh, that's a decent-sized Royal Navy fleet. Okay, I need you guys real quick to go take care of these Russians that managed to still sneak by before we had managed to secure the southern front. No, damn it. Select you, send you, kill him, thank you. You deal with those Russians. How the hell did you get there? I don't know, but I'm going to ignore you for now. You're not a big deal. Uh, 
Um, I don't need you there, actually. So you go destroy that Italian army and then head to Alessandria. Yeah, those guys are going to get wrecked. Um... Go and take care of that. Damn it, okay, they ran away. No, you stay there. You're a little beat up, but you stay there in Dogger Bay. And make sure that the British can't send more troops down. Okay, you're done. Wonderful. Need you to go and take care of these guys now. Damn it. And I want you to turn around. deal with him. You go up there. You go there. You're done. Got a uh, nice Spanish army for you to deal with. I've got one for you as well. So this war is not going into Lee's favor, which isn't surprising. I could probably get a white piece now. No, not quite. A little shocked they don't want a white piece yet, but whatever. Okay, so the Russians should not be able to get troops behind my borders anymore. Unless they, you know, send troops on a transport, which they could. It probably won't, but there's technically nothing stopping them from doing that if they really wanted to. Okay, wonderful. You deal with him. You go deal with that other Spanish army. You also deal with that other Spanish army. Actually, you deal with him and then go to Brussels. You deal with him and you also then head to Brussels. And then I'm going to send you guys to Bruges, I think. But I'll let you deal with Brussels first. And then we'll see how the situation is looking then to determine what the next move will be. Okay, decrease naval build time. Let's go and get more tax efficiency because we're kind of losing money. It's not tons, but it is money and, you know kind of don't want to be losing money. Admittedly, I could drop my the money I'm dropping into the administration to save a little bit of cash. Because we're sitting at 100% and we're currently researching more techs that make us even better at that. So we don't need to spend as much. Um, you're done. Do I want to send you to deal help with Italy? No. You go help and help on the, the French border. Uh, mitigate the policy slightly. I would love to get the bunch of free uh, research points. Thank you very much, game. Well, not necessarily free. There are some downsides to it, but uh, I think they more than outweigh. But the benefit more than outweighs that little downside. Oh god, we got some Russian communists now. Oh, and some Ottoman communists as well. Yeah, there's going to be a ton of communist uprisings um, as a result of this war. Just want to note that. That has been my experience. Now, technically, they have 710 brigades. And that's technically true, but the vast majority of them are um, conscripts because they mobilized their forces. Or they went into military and... Mobile, yeah, mobilized their armed forces, which gave them a whole bunch of brigades, but those are crappy brigades. Very much so. Ah, oh, the Spanish are running into Luxembourg, and I can't go into Luxembourg because Luxembourg hates me. I'm going to keep one army there. Uh, still not going to force the break up yet. I'm really hoping Two Sicilies eventually decides to break up 
Italy, because that would be wonderful. Wonderful. Two Sicilies is being smart and going to Alessandria. You take care of those Jakobin rebels because I don't think the Netherlands has a military anymore. No, they technically do. It's just somewhere else. Uh, wonderful. You are almost healed up. Not quite there, but you're very close. A bunch of extra millet or armies that I can ship off somewhere else. Um, you go deal with the Ottoman communists that are trying to siege Constantinople, or well, Istanbul rather. Um, and then I'm gonna send the other army to help in Italy, because you know, let's get Italy done. So admin efficiency, that'll give us some techs or inventions that will help us get some extra tax efficiency. Uh, don't stack on top of each other right now, actually. Now the question is, can I manage to get an army over there? Luckily, you are at still full capacity. Damn you, game, why'd you have to do that? I should have sent the other fleet out to keep it blockaded while I uh, did that. Oh well, I didn't quite expect them to try and pop out as soon as they had the opportunity. I'm gonna... yeah, let's siege that. Because that'll free up two more armies. That don't need to be... St uh, one more army, actually. Yeah, it only frees up one army. But that's fine. We're gonna ship you over to... The French border, because, you know, I don't trust the French. I'm probably going to... I really hope I don't lose transports there, because that's going to make this a pain in the ass. Is there a crossing here? Uh, does the game tell you about crossings? I don't recall. I don't think it does, which is in its own right actually a somewhat annoying thing about some of these older Paradox games. Is that you're not informed about crossing locations. So I think there is a crossing there because there's no way they managed to jump all those armies from Canterbury to Dunkirk. One, because they don't have a fleet in the Straits of Dover, as far as I can see, and I should be able to see it if there was one there. Yeah, that's... <sighs> that's annoying, but I can live with that. It's a whole bunch of crappy troops and you know what it gets them off the aisles and that makes my life a whole hell of a lot easier so you know what screw it I'll live with it a small Italian fleet apparently trying to go up to North Germany yeah I'm gonna need you guys over here to deal with the sudden influx of British people in um, Belgium. So let's group up in Brussels. Just, just, God, this is going to be a massive battle, and it's going to also take an age and a half, because I don't... Well, no, I think we have chemical attack, don't we? We do, yes. We don't have chemical defense, and the British probably have chemical attack, so we're also going to take pretty heavy losses there. You know what? They can siege Elsass. I don't really care right now. Uh, I want you to go to Chen. Uh, but I don't know what is that. Charleroi, sure, Charleroi, and all of you go there. And then when you're done, 
head back to restart it. I need this battle to be over so I can get my damn troops. There we go. Thank you very much. Not the one I was looking for. And I did lose transports, so I'm going to have to resupply one of those armies. I mean, I knew I was going to lose transports. I expected it to happen. I hoped it didn't, but I fully expected it to happen. Okay, I need you to go kill that damn Italian army that's being a pain in the ass. There we go. And I wasn't paying attention to that, so if I want to do anything fancy, I'll have to look back at that later. You can take care of that guy by yourself. I'm going to send you to Bruges. Once you're done in Brussels. Wonderful. I want you to head back out. Chums forward. And I also want you to actually head to Chums forward as well. Now, I'm kind of hoping the Japanese eventually decide to pop up. Um, in my test run, they did eventually send an army here, and they started sieging the British Isles with me. Um, not sure if they're busy doing something else. You know, they got a massive army just sitting on the home islands doing nothing. And really what they should be doing is using that to help me. Let's be honest. Um, you do a much better job of defending the home islands by making sure nobody can invade the home islands in the first... Oh, did we seriously lose that? We did, and I lost my entire army. That is actually slightly annoying. I fully expected us to win that. Heavy losses, sure, but I fully expected us to win that. Oh well, let's go ahead and rebuild an army. In the middle of a war, because, you know, we should be safe enough to do that. Okay, that is correct. I also was kind of hoping that the, uh, Italians would, you know, come around and help me. No, damn it, you sit in Bruges. Wait for the fleet to dock. And now I need to send an army around back to deal with the UK attempting to siege my stuff there. I mean, I could probably make peace. No, actually, I can't make peace. Ah, oh, yes, because the AI is always such a pain about making peace in a great war. They're losing it quite handily. Let's be realistic here. It, it's only 58% in my favor, but oh boy. They're not going to win this. There's no way in hell they can. Okay, so... Uh... You go to Rotterdam and heal. God, that cursor is actually kind of annoying sometimes. You know what? I'm gonna send both my armies down here to deal with the Italian army that's sieging the Two Sicilies territory. Once you're done, you're gonna go and siege Rome for me. Full. And I'm actually going to split you guys up. No, damn it, game. That's not where I told you to send him. I told you to send him to Lincoln, not Nottingham, or wherever the hell it was you were attempting to send him to.
Okay, let's go ahead and add the uh, Liberate Ireland thing on here. Yes, it's kind of high up, I'll admit. It's all good. It's all good. I could make peace with two Sicily or uh, Italy, but I'm not going to. Italy's gonna have to deal with me and two Sicilies, and eventually, no, I'm not gonna force somebody in my sphere to repay me. Actually, you go over there, deal with them. And if anything, I'll just occupy Italy for a while, and eventually uh, we'll be able to make peace. Preferably a peace that I would enjoy, but uh, we'll see. I got plenty of time to spare. More admin efficiency, you know, let's go make our factories better, screw it. Uh, kick tariffs up a little. Uh, you go to St. Albans once you uh, deal with the British and Chelmsford again. No Italy, you're not getting peace. Not unless it results in uh, two Sicilies breaking you up, because I can't quite afford the infamy to do that myself right now. Otherwise I would. Are you fully up and operational? Not quite. You're very close though. Oh, really? Do we have rebels in Bulgaria? We do. Yugoslavian pan nationalists. I'm just gonna ignore them. Uh, for one, Bulgaria seems like they can handle that. So they don't really need my help. No, Italy, you're not getting peace. And it's definitely not gonna be a white peace because I am not gonna be nice with you. No, Liberia, you're not gonna be an ally. One, because you're absolutely worthless. You were way too small to be of any use to me. You're not even useful for potentially getting me involved in a war that I might enjoy being in. <laughs> so even less reason for me to bother um, you know what, I'm gonna ship you off to the Irish Sea, and uh, I want you to go to Glasgow. And once we know that you can cross the Irish Sea, you're gonna cross. No. Oh shit, you're... Okay, so you lost all your cavalry and quite a bit of your artillery as well. I'm gonna... No, no, no. Damn it, game. Why do you, Why do you want to take that route? No. Why are you so stupid on your pathing? I swear to God, you're so dumb sometimes. It takes longer for you to cross the Irish Sea by boarding the ship that's out, that's not even docked, or boarding the fleet that's not docked, than it is for you to go further north and cross at the crossing at Glasgow into Belfast. I understand you want to take the shortest route, and you seem to use the shortest route in a fairly literal sense of tiles to cross. But that's not actually the fastest route, necessarily. In the meantime, we're going to wreck British industry by just occupying large portions of their nation while the uh, two armies in Ireland do their thing. Okay, you're done. I'm gonna send you to occupy or blockade the Celtic Sea. No, the Celtic Sea's not worth it. Go to Dongo Bay, because there's two places there, and so you'll blockade more stuff. Yep, you just keep doing your job. There we 
we go. A little extra tax efficiency. About to take, or moving into Dublin now. No, no white peace. Damn it, two Sicilies. Demand that Italy breaks up. I don't know. Releases Tuscany. I don't care who. Just force them to give some territory up. There's my timer, but we're going to let this go a little bit longer. You can't force them to liberate the Papal States, I don't think. But you can do Tuscany. And Tuscany would be worth it. Okay, you go from Salisbury into Bath. You go to uh, Cardigan. About to take Belfast, which is taking a little longer because this guy doesn't have his... Um, his cavalry, and he's missing a, a decent portion of his artillery. I mean, it's four brigades, so, you know, it's out of ten, so it's not quite half, but it, it's a decent amount. Uh, let's nationalize the bank. That seems like the least bad option between those three. Go, we've taken Belfast, wonderful. You go to Wexford. And apparently the Russians are so stupid they attempted to attack me in Grondo and failed miserably. Still don't want to give me peace? Because uh, this is a fairly generous offer, I'm going to be honest with you. I could potentially leave the war running and attempt to force you to liberate Scotland as well. I have literally no reason to make peace with you as soon as I possibly can. No, Italy, no. No peace for you. At least not a white peace, if I can avoid it. I'm going to try to avoid that, because I really don't want to give you a white peace. You piss me off. It's that actually that simple. <laughs> two Sicilies piss me off, so... Or not two Sicilies, Italy, so I'd rather... I'd rather break them up if I can. If, worst case scenario, I'll force it myself. I'm just hoping two Sicilies get smart and does it for me. No, Afghanistan, I'm not going to be allied with you when I'm allied with Persia, who has been at war with you in the past, and is most likely to result in a crisis at some point regarding Western Afghanistan. I don't want to have to pick a side. Obviously, I'll pick Persia's side because they're the most useful of the two, but nonetheless, I'd rather not have to pick a side if I can avoid it. Uh, I'm gonna, you know, what, let's ship the Austrian Imperial Navy back down to Italy because they're not really needed up here anymore. No, Italy, quit it. You constantly begging me for peace is actually annoying more than anything. So who's uh who's in ninth? Well, actually, I guess it's technically a better question of who's in eighth place right now. Scandinavia, you're already a great power, though. Ah, here we go. Spain. Okay. I'm like somebody's supposed to be replacing Italy, because technically Italy right now is uh they're down there. They'll bounce right back up as soon as the peace is signed, but for now they're down there. Okay, I'm going to keep an army down in Italy because they keep, Spain keeps sending more troops down there. Actually, go to Salisbury. Or actually, that's not Sh Salisbury. That's uh, Shrewsbury. Nope. Sorry, Italy. You're not getting a nice white piece. Not this time. There we go. We get a couple of days every so often of money. It's not enough to make up for the regular days of loss. Uh, but nonetheless, we are technically making a little bit of money every couple of days. Oh. So Spain is marching troops through France. Which is in and of itself also annoying, actually. I'm also a little shocked that France didn't go to war with me this time, because they did. In my very first run um, of this, France went to war with me. 
when uh, the Great War started. It wasn't with this exact Casus Belli that we got on the UK. It was actually a uh, Place in the Sun one I mentioned previously. This one's a Humiliate, but you know, it gets a basic job done. Yeah, they're gonna make me occupy all their core territory here to make peace. Which is kind of stupid, to be honest. Uh, Colonial Crisis, uh, sure. Okay, uh, send you over there as well. Might as well. Bulgaria, what happened to your military? You probably threw it away. Just like a lot of the AI tends to do. And they're not a puppet of mine, so I can't go and take command of their troops to, you know, make it so they don't throw them away. No, go and take Kildare. Uh, you go to Shefford or Sheffield. No. Uh, Boxer Rebellion again. Uh, still conservative, actually. If you uh, are on my Discord, you'll have seen that I had made a post on there a while back when I was actually doing the test run for this part. Um, or just playing through the war to sort of figure out what I potentially want to take. Uh, you'll have seen that I made a post that China went fascist and they had a massive um, a massive anarcho-liberal if I recall correctly is what it was um, uprising that had already occupied the vast majority of the other territory they just for whatever reason ended up going fascist when uh, one of those revolts finally ended Actually, where are you? God damn, you're fast. Get back over here. I need somebody to go and take the Isle of Man. Go and dock in Dublin for now. No, I'm not going to force repayment of my satellite game. One, because it's stupid. Why would I do that? How far behind you are you from fourth place um actually or rather how far ahead of you are are you from whoever is in fourth place which happens to be japan you are about 400 points ahead so even if i occupy all of your core territory here it's not actually going to make a massive difference or at least it's going to take a good long while to have any real effect so you go take isle of man you go and occupy hull you go and take Sterling. Spain given up on sending troops into Italy. Looks like they have. They do technically still have troops. Oh shit, how the hell did you guys get down here? Actually, I think I know how. You probably crossed that uh, over here in uh, Canakale, or however it's pronounced. So, uh... Yes, I kind of forgot about that. Send an army down there. You kick the Spanish out of Belgium. Still not willing to accept peace. That is still a white piece, which is annoying. And I don't quite have the jingoism on Italy to be able to take anything from them. Damn it, okay, you go resiege that. 
Okay, never mind. Bulgaria's gonna do it for us, so you just go and make sure they can't cross that damn strait again. Nope. Spain's not quite done sending troops to save Italy. You go to Inverness, you go to um, Carl. I, I want to say Carl Isley. Um, you go to Dundee. You still don't want to make peace? Nope. I've all the time. Oh, shit, that's a nice big. Uh, Portuguese army. I didn't exactly expect Portugal to finally get involved. I actually kind of forgot they were even involved in the first place. Uh, what did the U.S. do now? Ah, uh, U.S. is trying to take Alaska, or rather the Yukon territories. Send two armies to ensure our victory. Um, the U.S. should have that. Uh, Russia is very weak because I've beaten the crap out of them and the UK doesn't exactly have the ability to send forces over to um, the Americas to help defend their stuff over there so yeah this should be a fairly nice victory for the US as well they didn't quite get to join our war which would have been much better for them if they had been a part of the Great War rather than uh, the way they are now where they are an independent or independent war they'd be able to potentially take more stuff no Italy not happening I'll end this part once we fully occupied the British Isles which is almost done Wonderful. Uh, yeah, I'm not surprised that my satellite in Africa is not doing so hot at the whole uh, defending their territory. Their main job is really just to serve as a distraction, if we're being completely honest. So I don't have a problem with that. Still don't want to make peace. Uh, once I take Dundee, I'll, I should be at 100%. And I should be able to force peace. And we get a bunch of German communists rising up now because of course we do. So let's go ahead and take care of that. With the two armies that I can actually spare. Well, three now because you had to put down your own little thing. Here we go. Okay, not quite a hundred, but you know what? It's close enough. I could make peace now. And what will happen is we'll gain two territories off of Russia, Greece gets all their cores from the Ottomans, Ireland becomes independent and starts out as a, um, in my sphere of influence, and Scandinavia will gain Finland. And then they're probably going to be an annoyance. Well, not really, actually. We'll see. So I'd have to fight another battle or something to be able to get that extra little bit that I need to get to 100 war score to enforce humiliate which I don't really care to enforce to be honest so yeah I'm fine with not enforcing that I'm already well ahead of whoever's in second place on prestige oh which happens to be the UK by about 200 points so yeah I'm, I'm fine not not getting an extra 51 points and them losing 123 it's not going to make a difference at all, really. That's not even going to knock them down to third place on prestige. So let's go ahead and make peace, and then I'll end the part. So Ireland immediately asks for an alliance. I'm going to request military access. Thank you, Ireland. Because I happen to have a bunch of troops that I'm going to keep more or less permanently stationed in your territory. I hope you know that. Um, we've kind of hurt Italy enough and the game's not going to let me make a white piece or it's not going to let me uh, take anything off them. 
technically it would, but I don't have the infamy to spare right now to do this. So we're gonna we're just gonna say screw it and fine. Italy. You get your damn white piece that you've been asking me for for 20 years now. It feels like. I mean, not really, but you know, it kind of feels like it. It's, it's been going for a while. Uh, this gives us time to go ahead and rebuild our navy that has been damaged. So you need seven transports. That's easy enough to get you. And you need three cruisers, which is also easy enough to get you. And that's all we're going to build for now. So Greece gained back some of their territory. Technically, some of their lands are currently held by uh, Bulgaria. They'll just have to get over that fact. Uh, to be honest, uh, Russia is in dire need of mechanization very clearly. They have not built railroads extensively. They have a couple of pockets of urban development, or well, rather railroad development, but it's not everywhere. It's not like us. We've built railroads literally everywhere with the miners exception of our newly conquered territories uh, I'm gonna leave the investment of that to our friendly capitalists because literally no reason for me to go ahead and spend that money myself when I can get somebody else to spend that money for me and they're gonna do it like literally instantly anyway so even less reason for me to be the one to spend that money. Now, as a result of me leaving four armies permanently stationed more or less in Ireland, I'm going to need to have uh, some more armies built for sitting around on the mainland. And one of these armies is actually going to be coming back home as well. Because it needs to be re needs to be rebuilt anyway, to some degree. I'm actually... What do I want to research? You know, I think I'm actually going to go for the... Electric furnace for that stainless steel invention. I don't really care about the stuff it gives me there. So we're going to end this part here. Um, actually... Before I end it, let's just march my troops back into my territory. You guys are going to go to Italy. Let me let my troops get into my territory and then we'll end the part. Oh, you guys as well, actually. these guys to get into our territory and then we'll save and end the part. Actually, you know, I can wait till they get to their destination. It's not that far. Um, I am going to tell one of you to take a slight detour, if you don't mind. Take care of these rebels here. Because why not? You're passing by. I'm um, sure we shall host a uh, motion dismissed for whatever this is. Gain up to 10 liberals in the upper house. It's kind of annoying. Okay, and that still gets us close enough to uh, pass a political reform. So the vast majority of people, of voters in particular, really want censored press over state press only. Um, and it's actually more or less the same if I look at what the people want as well. So... Um, I kind of have to give that to them. If I choose anything else, I'm going to have to deal with massive radicalization of factions, which means more uprisings, and we're already going to have quite a few if my experience in that test run is anything to go by. So, you guys want censored press? I'll give you censored press. And then it'll last for all of five seconds of that uh, conservative gain.
Okay. I'm gonna send you to also go and hunt down rebels. Actually... You know what? No, it can wait till next part for me to tell you to go and deal with those Belgian communists. So, that is gonna be it for this part. I will see you all next time where we will be preparing for potentially the next great war because there should be at least one more if my experience is anything to go by uh what it'll be for is anybody's guess but there should be another one nonetheless uh but like i said that'll be it for this part i will see you all next time but until the actually let me say first and then sign off So that'll be it for this part. I will see you all next time. Quick reminder, I do have a Patreon link that down in the description below if you want to help the channel out. It's the easiest and best way to help support the channel because it is not currently monetized via YouTube. Uh, so that is the only uh, regular way of supporting the channel. There are other ways to support the channel, of course. I do have a, um, or I do have affiliate links down in the description below for games that I can find affiliate links for, or that I can generate affiliate links for, rather. Uh, this being one of those games, I believe I have a Humble Affiliate link and I think also a Paradox, well I know I have a Paradox one, I believe Humble and maybe also Green Man Gaming Affiliate link. And all of those I get some small commission um, on any sale that you make using those links. Um, so that's the best way to help the channel out. I am raking in the dough. I'm probably going to keep our taxes and everything more or less as they are. I might lower it a little bit on the poor because um, we have 4% of people getting none of their needs. Um, some of which are farmers, laborers, and craftsmen, all of whom are kind of relevant, to be completely honest. Though admittedly, part of that is also because we have a bunch of unemployed craftsmen in our newly conquered Russian-Polish territories. That's probably where the vast majority of those craftsmen actually are that are currently not getting any of their needs. By the way, we'll figure this all out next time. Uh, but until then, a goodbye and farewell.